If you're somebody into cooking, and you like watching the Food Network. If you're into basketball, you watch the NBA, you're not always playing it. And if you're into video games, you watch Twitch. Or Night Stalker to sound oh more. my god, he's gonna be able to hit it! A few last hits! Oh he got it. my god, he wins the oh game! Oh my god! All by himself! In order to understand Twitch, you have to go back to 2007 when Justin TV launched. Justin TV was a live streaming platform that began filming Justin Khan's life 24 hours a day as they opened up the platform to everybody. And as a result, Justin TV became a broad streaming platform for every type of content. One area they didn't expect to be growing as fast as it did was video game content. They blew away every milestone, and in 2011, Twitch launched. The common question is, why are people watching Twitch? So the idea of spectating is nothing new in the video game industry. You'd have your Coleco or your Atari, and you'd be surrounded by your friends and family, and they'd be watching because there's only two controllers, so there's more spectators than players. This was even more pronounced in the arcades. It wasn't until the ubiquity of broadband that enabled Twitch to exist and really take this phenomenon that was already in our DNA and expand, tap into it on a global level. There was a long time on Twitch where it was really eSports that was driving a lot of the growth. Before he goes down, and that's going to be the end of the half here, NIP, 11 to 4. eSports is its own ecosystem because it has its own teams, leagues, players, talk shows, you name it. The growth then started to come in from behind with all of our variety broadcasters. You know, people playing with their friends. It could also be smaller communities like speedrunning, which is the art of racing through a game as fast as you can. Of our 1.5 million broadcasters, around 11,000 right now are currently part of the partner program through ads on their channels, through subscriptions to their channel, and through merchandising. That you could be the best player in the world and make a living off our platform, or you could be the worst player in the world, and if you're engaging and entertaining, you can make a living off our platform. I want the fucking car. The biggest day on Twitch to this point now has been two million concurrent people. It was the perfect storm of streaming. Several esports events, new games had come out, a lot of our feature broadcasters streaming. As far as we're concerned, the sky's the limit.